Hi everyone, Andrew here. Now in the last few videos, we discussed the upper parts of the respiratory system. The different parts of the nose, the parts of the pharynx, then the larynx, then we start working our way further down the respiratory tract, discussing the trachea and bronchus, and briefly mentioning the bronchii and bronchioles. Now in this video, we'll be sticking our nose into the last parts of the respiratory system, as well as taking a basic look at some more of the system's functionality. So let's get started. All right, everyone, now let's get into the lungs. The right lung has three lobes while the left lung has two. In the right lung, we have the upper, the middle, and the lower, and in the left lung, we just have the upper and the lower. Not very difficult to remember, but it is important to remember because as a nurse or a medical professional, when checking breathing sounds, you're going to want to check each lobe. On the left lung, there's also a cardiac notch, which is where the heart makes a bit of an indentation on the lung. Now, if you ever want to look at it on a picture or on an x-ray, it makes it easy to identify the left lung from the right lung. In this area where the lungs sit, we also have an important muscular structure called the diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. During inhalation and expiration, it expands and contracts. Remember, we briefly referred to the trachea and the bronchus as different parts of an upside down tree. Let's work our way back to that analogy, thinking of the trachea as our trunk and the bronchus as two main big branches moving into the left lung and the other one moving into the right. These separate further into bronchii, which can be thought of as our branches and continue breaking up into bronchioles, which we'll imagine are our twigs. At the end of each bronchiole, we have sac-like formations called alveoli. These can be imagined as flowers or seeds, which are responsible for gas exchange. Well, what do I mean by gas exchange? Well, now we're moving into functionality. Now, a gas exchange basically is, is just like it sounds, the exchange of gases, namely oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now, let's take a deeper look at how this is done. Now, next to our alveoli, we have blood vessels that run all through our lungs. Deoxygenated blood comes into the heart from every part of the body. And this is pumped through the superior vena cava. Then the heart pumps the deoxygenated blood into our lungs through the pulmonary trunk, which breaks off into our left and right pulmonary arteries. This is where oxygen in our lungs passes through the alveoli to the capillaries of our blood vessels while simultaneously the blood transfers its waste, its carbon dioxide, to the alveoli where the body expels it through respiration. Is that amazing or what? First time I learned about this process, it just about took my breath away, no pun intended. Now going back, the blood moves back into the heart through the pulmonary veins and is sent out through the body through the aorta. Now this entire process is called the pulmonary circuit, which we can remember by keeping in mind that the lungs are always referred to as pulmonary. Now we can imagine a person continuously running along a track or a circuit and you know what, let's go ahead and name this person pulmonary to remember that this is a continuous loop of the heart and the lungs working together to achieve oxygenation of the body. Re recap. All right, everyone, let's recap. In this video, we introduced a couple new parts of the pulmonary system, namely the bronchioles, the bronchii, the different parts of the lungs, and the alveoli. We also introduced a new process called the pulmonary circuit. Now this is where the heart and the lungs work together to achieve oxygenation of the body. All right, everyone, that wraps up this video on the bronchi, the bronchioles, and the lungs. This wraps up our entire segment on the respiratory system. I really hope that in this segment, you guys have grasped a deeper understanding of how important the lungs are to your body. And if you feel like you've missed something, feel free to go back and watch our other easy to follow videos on the respiratory system and I'll see you there.